Hello everybody and welcome back to the Battle City map. My name is Adriel Zenix and today we are playing some Village Wars. Oh finally, Village Wars number two is coming your way. I hope you guys enjoy. So without further ado, let's jump right into the game and have some fun. So here we are guys, we are joined today by Stormzix and Aiden1912 as well as Archer on the other team, Godcrafts and also one other guy, I just simply cannot remember the name of right now, I'm sorry, but you'll see it in the death feed and also, yeah, in the death feed. So today we are playing some Village Wars. For those of you who do not know what Village Wars is, it is at the map that we are playing on as well as the game mode. So the game mode is very simple. Take control of the center building, the meeting hall so to speak, or the mayor's house or the negotiations location. So I like to think of it this way guys, this map for instance, this room for instance with the beacon is. There were four bases on the map. These bases represent different people, different teams or different leaders of the village and they negotiate inside the centre building and the beacon colour represents the dominant team, so red and blue. Probably won't matter for the future teams but I just wanted to say, give this little store, this uh, little game mode and this map a little backstory so yeah negotiations has broken down and we are fighting it out for control and dominance over the village. So with this war, war against the red team, who will win? Find out now. <laughs> so finally we're playing some PvP. TE32 has dropped and uh, they fixed some of the bugs that is just a killer for the PvP. We can finally start using our glass breaking skills guys, by hand only. In fact, you can only break glass and carpet using your hand, which is, I have to say, it's a very interesting thing, a dynamic for the game, for the games, because you, before you could break glass using your sword, now you have to use your hand. And everything else that can be broken by your hand has to be used, you have to use your hand, <laughs> which is a... Uh, Actually, it's a very interesting thing to do. You have to keep um, a slot on your hotbar clear so you can actually use your hand to break things. That's an awesome tip for desolation as well, an even bigger tip for desolation. If you don't have anything, if if you have all of your hotbar filled up with stuff, you know, don't have a slot clear, then you're going to have problems. So right now, I am experiencing some bad video function in a lot of my videos. I'm so sorry about this guys, I wanted to keep it in just so you guys know, this happened, this happened and I am so sad about it, uh, that's why you're not hearing any of the gameplay as well because video corruption massively desynced the audio as well. And also, back when I first originally recorded this, the commentary desynced quite considerably as well. And I hate it, I really do. I hate it when I get technical issues. Uh, but back to the PvP, that's my problem, not yours. Guys, I just wanted to tell you that's why there's been a bit of video corruption leaking in, into my videos as of late, especially on Gaia. But this is. Uh, <laughs> we're finally playing PvP, guys. Hopefully, we won't get any video corruption in the next PvP game, which will be out soon. Which, by the way, Check out Stormzix's channel, think on screen, in the cards, in the description. He has released another Village Wars game, this game in fact, and it is fun to watch, it is fun to watch. In fact, it spurred me to uh, re-record this commentary for you guys, which will be awesome, awesome. Hard. Oh yes, I got two piece, I got two piece guys. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I'm so excited to be bringing you this game guys. <laughs> Oh, I've been, I've been starved from PvP for too long, too long. Now we can finally play. And as you just saw there, guys, I just activated TNT explodes. 
so this a holdover from the previous video so a massive desync and yeah that's what I wanted to show don't worry there was nothing important missed all that was was me traveling from spawn to there after I died so uh, I'm going to leave it in there hold over hold over so I can't edit it out because I, the original video fully cropped it so I have to use this I'm sorry I'm so sorry but guys 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 this is going to be awesome because I've not only got this PvP game, I've got another one coming your way very soon. So, Village Wars number three is coming out very soon. So, be sure to keep an eye out for that. And check out Storm Zix's video as well. Because that's just. I had so much fun just watching his video. It's amazing. It, it is amazing. So, check out Storm Zix. Subscribe to him. Follow him on Twitter. All the links in the description, all the links on the cards at the top right corner of the screen. And yeah, the link to his video as well. So yeah. So uh, yeah, guys, guys. It's amazing. Amazing playing back on PvP. I got a bit trapped there. Now, uh, the, the teams were slightly unbalanced, but not that much surprisingly. Now, yeah. There's me, Stormzix and Aiden on one team, which is, I didn't realise at the time, a pretty powerful overkill team. And on the enemy team, we've got someone who is pretty new at PvP, but surprisingly good, Archer. He is surprisingly and deceptively good at PvP. You wouldn't know that this is one of the first PvP games he's played. And the way he just in this game it's just awesome <laughs> so oh Aiden killed me friendly fire friendly fire no oh Aiden Aiden uh, that's probably not the best place for a kick by the way for me for my team the other side would have been better my bad so yeah finally we're back oh I'm obsessing about it can't wait for the next PvP game. This is going to be awesome. So much PvP going on. However, I did recently learn that the save glowstone under... Oh, wait. Before I say that, check this out. This is a crazy thing to do. Get the key. Get out. And boom. Destructible environment. This entire house just blew up to smithereens. <laughs> so, yeah. Be safe, guys. Because there are treks traps booby traps like that around the map for very powerful items like that key which allows you to access some hidden locations unfortunately the locked locations are not filled yet so that key was just a unnecessary risk i just wanted to show it off look at that now i'm thinking about turning that key into a button or something i don't know either way you have to get back out of these locations, so any of them might do. But it's awesome guys, it is awesome. Finally we're playing PvP, finally we're playing some Village Wars, finally! The next game, there's going to be even more chaoticness happening, hopefully not on the video collection side, but it's going to be epic. <laughs> oh, oh, looks like a, uh, oh! He almost tripped me there. He almost tripped me there with his armour. How did he get a different coloured armour? Hmm. Perhaps I left some die in this map. I'll have to take that out because that's kind of cheaty. Oh. But then again, if it's in the map, then it's not cheating at the moment. So that's the way I view it. Ouch. Ouch. Wait, I got two pieces there. Wow, yeah. Double kill. Haha. <laughs> uh, yes. So, uh, I don't finally also get to test out these game modes properly, guys. But now I can start fixing things up for this game mode, make it more balanced, make the chests fill them loot better, and also take away a few of the dies that I didn't realize I put uh, left in. Um, but yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, definitely awesome. So, somebody has found some cobwebs. 
that's awesome. Good use for cobwebs, I have to say, but they do get broken pretty quickly. So use them as a trap, guys. Don't use it to simply block them off. Just use it as a trap, like this guy. He got trapped in the cobwebs, <laughs> and he couldn't do nothing. Awesome. So yeah, the game has just finished, guys. As I scramble to try and find my way down that I set myself, I can't remember. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave this video a like, subscribe to watch more, and uh, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out Storm6's channel for this game, and yeah, for all the other epicness he does as well. So check the scores. Blue team has that many. Red team has that many. Who's that blue team has won this game? Run this wild round. Be sure to check out the next video. This is how fast the points go in, so it is pretty. We're pretty sure that blue team won, even though it took me a while to get down here. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. The operation of the mechanism. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, thank you everyone who participated in the PvP. It was epic. Good. Bye.